We have a mini PC upgrade job today. And guys, believe me, this is going to be a very, very easy job. I have right here a Lenovo Think Center M710Q PC. This is a mini PC, tiny PC, whatever you want to call it. It's very possible that on my channel, I have actually covered this upgrade a long time ago, but this was a time where I was still heavily into, you know, editing my YouTube videos. And sometimes when you create content like this, which is upgrading or whatever, adding RAM or SSD to a mini PC or a desktop PC, and you heavily edit it, there is a possibility that somebody might reach out to you and say, look, this video was so fast. I didn't see what you did there. I didn't know what you did and, you know, stuff like that. I have received this comment over and over and over and again. And I felt like, okay, now that things are a little bit chill on the channel with my life, I feel like this is the best time to actually, you know, recreate some of these videos and just, you know, talk to you guys the way it should normally be. Not like jump cut things, make sure that things are so fast. At the end of the day, nobody even understands. Like I was saying, I have right here a mini PC. And at the end of this video, you will definitely see how you can actually go ahead and insert, install, upgrade, whatever you want to call it, an NVMe SSD on your tiny PC. I also have right here, you know, a total of 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. See, this job, it's a very, very easy job. It's by no means a difficult job because there are difficult jobs, which is if you have to change the casing of this PC, it says, let's say I want to take out the main board, that I can classify as a difficult job. But this particular one right here is the easiest of jobs. But then you also have to know how it's done. See, what I have only done was to take out, you know, this panel. And if you look at behind your PC, you should definitely see you know, a screw that holds it in place. And I just took that out and I was able to take out, you know, this cover. And the next thing I want to do now, where everything is actually hiding is just behind the PC right here. If I slide that out and I lift that over, I can actually take a look at what's going on here. On this PC, we already have a 120 gigabyte of NVMe SSD, but this is going to be taken out. And right here, I think I also have a four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM. This definitely is not what you should be using on your PC right now. Of course, there was a time where having four gigabytes of DDR4 RAM on your PC was seen like standard. But right now, if your PC is rocking, you know, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, it's still seen as a basic PC. You know, guys are doing a lot of stuff on their PC. People are rocking 64 gigabytes, 130 gigabytes of DDR4, DDR5 RAMs. This is where, you know, the phone is right now. But then, this is still a PC that still can conveniently run 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and you will still not have a problem, you know, with it. Because this PC right here, super solid PC, is one PC that I can highly recommend. It's rocking a 7 Gen Core i7 processor and I just want to make sure that things are a little bit up to speed by, you know, increasing the RAM as well as making sure that an NVMe SSD is actually installed here, all right? I just have to go ahead and pop it on right here. Like I said, this is the easiest thing to do, but only make sure that while you are putting this in, these clips right here, they are actually clipping in place. Otherwise, you might have funny problems when you try to install or switch on your PC because you might have a station where this PC is going to be peeping or it's not just booting altogether. But then, since I know that this PC... You know, before upgrading it, it's in very good working condition. If for one reason or the other, it doesn't work thereafter, I can easily tell that the RAM or the SSD that I have put in here must definitely be causing something, all right? So the RAM sticks have been installed. We have to move on, you know, to installing the NVMe SSD on this PC. You see, somebody wrote on my video just yesterday telling me a very big thank you because... He was actually searching through the internet on how to take this out. Apparently, this was a little bit stuck and there was just no way he could bring it. He didn't want to destroy the SSD that was there. And this guy actually did write on my channel that he searched through the internet on how to take this out. But he only found that on one of my videos. So I'm just going to do the same thing that he was actually thankful for, which is to take this out. I'm going to show you the way you can actually take this out without you know, destroying anything, breaking this uh, plastic uh, plastic clip right here or even breaking this SSD. The trick I have found to work is if you have a flathead screwdriver like this, it has a way of just working 
you know, wonders here. So when you bring it on, you just want to take it and kind of, you know, raise this thing with it gently, just like that. See that? Just keep, you know, you can just place it here by the chassis of the PC and then you just have the way of pushing this up. It's going to neatly take out this plastic right here. If you sometimes want to struggle with this, it's going to be like this. You're going to be trying to open it at the end of the day. You might end up cutting this cable if you're not careful. But with this flathead screwdriver here, it's just a little hack. And a subscriber to this channel actually was very grateful, you know, about that. Talking about a subscriber to this channel. If you are not subscribed right now to this channel, I want to plead with you to go ahead. Do what you have to do. Support this channel. You know, make sure you are subscribed. Click on the like button. If this particular video you have found some value in it. Please make sure you click on the like button. And above all, let me know what exactly was it that was, you know, very, very valuable to you in the comment section. So when you have your SSD now, all you have to do is to place it right here, gently push it down, and then align it with this clip right here. And then you can go ahead and push this back in. And in this way, you have your NVMe SSD installed, your RAM sticks, and you can then go ahead to close your PC, which I am just actually, you know, going to do like this. And then the front cover also comes in like that. And do not forget your screw. The beautiful thing about this PC is that you can actually use it without this screw. But if you have this screw, I wouldn't see why you wouldn't want to put it, you know, back in. So I'm just going to screw back my screw. And I have succeeded in upgrading this pc right here with a total of 16 gigabyte of ddr4 ram as well as 250 gigabyte of nvme ssd of course if you had the same problem the intention of me making this video is just to show you how you can do it but then i understand that sometimes some people still need you know something more you know they want to ask you more questions this is the reason why you have the comment section on this youtube video feel free to leave me a comment if there is something you do not understand, but I know one question that you might be wanting to ask now is hardware money. Is it possible for me to also use a SATA SSD on this PC? Guys, the answer is, is a resounding yes. And this is one of the reasons why this PC is a very, very beautiful PC. I'm going to show you exactly how you can actually do that. You know, see, I just opened the PC again and right here you have a 2.5 inch SSD card. This is it right here. And you can actually go ahead and install your, you know, SATA SSD here and just clip it on. This is one reason why this right now, I can tell you, my friends, one of the best PC I can highly recommend to you. Let's say you are looking for a PC for your home office, for your school. You are not so sure. You do not want to go the route of buying a laptop, but you understand that some of these mini PCs, when you buy them, very soon you're going to be limited you know, by what you can do in terms of storage, all right? But a mini PC like this that gives you the option of a 2.5, you know, inch SSD as well as an NVMe SSD is the sweet spot. I'm telling you this because from experience, if you buy a PC that you're just limited to the NVMe SSD, there's going to come a time where it doesn't matter if you buy a one terabyte of SSD on that PC, you are still going to be full on storage. And when that happens, it might be, you know, a difficult situation. You might have to begin to think of, you know, buying a bigger SSD and trying to, re, you know, just go around and copy your files again. That is a lot of hassle. But if you have, you know, an NVMe SSD installed here, it could be a one terabyte NVMe SSD. And you also go ahead and slot in a SATA SSD here. You are just protected from every embarrassment occasioned by lack of storage and if this entire ssd is full for one reason or the other you can easily just slot it out you do not have to reinstall your operating system and slot in a new one here and you are good to go this is one reason why i find this pc to be very very interesting of course there are so many recommendations out there you know people telling you this is what you should buy this is what you shouldn't buy but i'm going to tell you easily that if you are thinking right now of a mini pc a mini pc that's going to stand the test of time because the idea of you buying these pieces is not a buy a PC that after one or two months you are tired, you want to think of replacing it. The idea is for you to buy a PC and have it for a very long time. See, this PC wasn't made yesterday, all right? But then somebody still found it 
very, very interesting. I went to the hardware money shop, you know, to pick it up because the person pretty much understands what he is buying. And the person that has bought this PC, I'm telling you that this is a PC that still can be used for a very, very long time. This is a PC. I can tell you for free, they have been built to pretty much last forever. This is the closest analogy I can give to you. So this is one thing you want to consider because I'm aware some of you are in the market right now. You are not so sure what to go for. But if you are thinking of a responsible mini PC, a mini PC that will do the job that it's supposed to do without you having to suffer, then the Lenovo Think Center M710Q mini PC might just be something you want to consider. But I'm not going to end this video without telling you that if you are at a loss as to where to find this PC, then feel free to go to the link in the description below. Click on it and you'll be taken to the hardware money shop where you have the possibility to buy this PC for a very decent price. Until I see you again in the next one, peace.